Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds everyone doing well and in good spirits. Okay guys, let me tell you what I will be sharing with you guys today. I'm kind of excited about it because I love these wings. And uh, I just, uh, I'm just copycatting it. These are some KFC barbecue wings copycat. I, I love these wings and every time I go to Enterprise uh, we always get these wings and then I just decided that I'll hey I come up with my own recipe of it and I tell you what it's a close contender so guys <coughs> I'm going to tell you what I will be what you're going to need to um, do this recipe and then I'll uh, I'll move on and tell you the next step. Let me tell you guys, I have a uh, I have a family pack of uh, chicken wings that I have uh, separated. And can you see in your top? Mm -hmm. I got it brining. I got it in a brine. And uh, I tell you what I have in the brine. I have the uh, fourth fourth of a cup of uh, the kosher salt fourth a cup of sugar and I put black pepper in it. I got some black pepper sprinkled in it, maybe about a, a half a tablespoon. And then I also have about two tablespoons of rice vinegar. You can put any type of vinegar you want to. And normally I put hot salt. I make my brines all different kind of ways, but I thought this would be the best way to make the brine to uh, achieve the uh, Taste I'm trying to uh, achieve. Now I'm going to I'm going to um, pull this uh, brine off. I'm not going to rinse them, and I'm not going to put hot salt on them like I normally do. But I'm going to pull this brine off, and then I'm going to um, then I'm going to flour my chicken, get it ready for frying. Barbecue chicken, but the chicken wings are going to be fried. Uh, Guys, I don't know exactly how much. This is probably about three cups of flour that I have here, over here. And let me tell you what seasoning I have in this flour. I have a um, third a cup of cornstarch in here. I'll move this on out the way. And then I have, uh, I got two teaspoons of this poultry seasoning. And I got a couple of teaspoons of this here no salt seasoning. I love the flavor. It's got it's got a lot of the herbs and th things in it that I think that the uh, poultry season got in it. And then um, I got some sweet heat. This is a rub, but I wanted that little smoky flavor. I used two things for the little uh, little smoky flavor that I was trying to put in there. So I put I only put uh, probably about a teaspoon and a half of this in there. It's called sweet smoke, and it's a and it's a rub by Grill Mate McCormick. And then, guys, I got this here McCormick, McCormick Grill Mate Montreal, Montreal Montreal chicken seasoning. It has the uh, a perfect amount of uh, garlic and onions in it. Onion sauce, uh, onion powder in it. And then, guys, I have uh, two teaspoons of paprika, 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 and I have two teaspoons of this in lard. I have de uh, several uh, seasoned salt, but this is more like the, uh, close to that flavor because I haven't tried it. And then, guys, I have this barbecue sauce here, and I have some uh, chili flakes. And oh, yeah. And then uh, I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of this honey, one to either, probably two tablespoons. I 
it's probably going to be about two tablespoons of that honey because I'm going to mix the barbecue sauce up and then I will uh, I mean I, when I I'm going to mix the uh, honey and this chili flakes and a teaspoon of this uh, sweet heat in there to give it that little smoke this uh, sweet smoke to give it that little smoky flavor it's so good okay guys that's what I'm that's all uh, I need to tell you about that and like I say those are the, those are the spices in, in the seasoning that I have in the flour so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to go off I'm going to drain my um, chicken and then I'm gonna then I'm going to dredge it in this flour because once I uh, dredge them in the flour guys I usually like to let that let it sit on maybe about five or ten minutes for that flour to kind of adhere to it real good and then I got my um I got my little Dutch oven over there on this on the uh, burner and it's heating up and I can't tell you what the grease is gonna get but I you know it's just when it get hot, I mean when it get hot enough I'm going to cook, normally I cook it on maybe uh, six, a five to a six. And it's a cast iron Dutch oven, so you know I have to lower the temperature accordingly. What I'm, what I'm, really what I'm saying, I don't test, I don't have a thermometer that I put in there and test what the uh, heat going to be in there, but you're going to fry it till it get done. So guys, let me go off and I'm going to get my, get some of the wings and stuff uh, floured and maybe my grease will be heated and I'll meet you back over at the stove to get the frying uh, part over with. I mean, uh, get it started and did. And then I'll, I'll be going back mixing the uh, barbecue sauce and uh, then after the you know, after it fries, I'm going to put the uh, barbecue sauce on it. And then I'm going to put it on a, a rack and stick it in the oven. I'll tell you more about it, guys, when we get to it. And you'll see, you'll see exactly what I'm doing. So, okay, guys, I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. My grease is hot enough. And, matter of fact, it got too hot, so I had to let it cool down. But I'm, I'm, I, I am frying this in this Dutch oven, this cast iron Dutch oven, and uh, you can see where I got the grease line at. It's almost at the halfway mark, but not quite at the halfway mark because when I put the chicken in there, I don't want it to boil over. I'm just going to fry it. I'm not going to overcrowd it. I'm get some chicken in here because I got it too hot. But when this here, when this, when this uh, thing get hot, it's hot. I think I should have let it cool off more. I'm going to cut it back out for a minute until it's grease cool down more. Hoping I get enough chicken in here to calm it down so it will be easy to burn.
guys, I'm going to let this chicken fry. And then I just, um, I'm going to get the rest of it fried up. And then when I get it all fried up, I'll come back and let you guys see. Um, I mean, take it through my next step. Probably fried fried this on maybe a five or a or either six. And um not about frying my wings and stuff like this approximately 20 minutes, but you know this until it it get done. I, I take I can't tell you the exact time on it, but uh we'll see. But I know I normally fry it. Like I told you I had got my grease too hot right then, but uh while I was over there. Uh, showing you the other steps, but when it get cool down and it goes prime right, I'll bring you back, guys, and let you see the chicken and probably uh, I'll be mixing up my barbecue sauce and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, while the chicken is over there frying, I'm gonna go ahead on and mix this here barbecue sauce up. And, uh, and have it ready to uh, put on the chicken. And if it's just frying them, chicken has to be sitting out that they don't work. You put them in a small spoon motor. A teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I'm going to take my food either. You don't want to tell me what to do when it's here. I don't think no. I don't think it's going to be. I'm just going to put uh, two teaspoons of this honey, guys. And then I think I had maybe about a half, a cup and a half of that barbecue sauce in here, but if I need more, I'll mix up tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to use uh, a teaspoon. Let's see Half a teaspoon right here. So half a teaspoon of that. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I have a teaspoon of this uh, no salt seasoning. Oh, guys, that's the best. And then this that uh, sweet smoke. And I'm putting a teaspoon of this. And this is a half a teaspoon, so I just put two of those. And guys, I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of this, this uh, chili flake. Guys, I don't know. Let me know, guys, down in the uh, comment. Have you ever had the uh, KFC barbecue wings? I've had the buffalo too. I like that, but I um, I got several different recipes that I the way I do my own. Uh, Buffalo wings, but me, uh, Turk and I just love these, uh, love those, uh, KFC barbecue wings. That's yeah. what they do. And they are okay. pretty good. Huh? And they are good. Yeah. That's as much as we eat this, I need this. Guys, I always have been real good of copycat recipes. I've been doing it for years. I've gotten away from it over the years, but... Mm -hmm. chicken. Okay, guys, let's sit with the uh, barbecue sauce. I'm gonna show you how I use it when we come back. Let me see about my chicken before I burn it. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'm back, and I'm going to show you the uh, next step and tell you the last step. 
that I'm going to be going to this chicken. I got my oven on 375. And I'm going, once I get this barbecue sauce on there, I'm going to stick it back in the oven for only five minutes. And that's something I want to tell you guys about. This is a KFC copy cat. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one step that they do not do. Because the chicken just mainly be off. Uh, the barbecue sauce just be poured on it. It don't look like it be baked in, but this is one, one step that I want to do. Extra that I want to do to it. And I got my last batch of chicken in there, oh, guys. And uh, when it's fried up, and I put the barbecue sauce on it, and I run it in that, run it in the oven. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna let it kind of dry in the oven for five minutes. I'll let the barbecue, bake, the barbecue sauce bake in it for five minutes, and then um. Uh, I just bring you guys back. Can they see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. It's like I'm working in an office. But sometimes when we get to speaking, and I lay me be in a hair roll, that barbecue sauce will be on, on what you ever know that the cook is? Yes, uh -huh. you have to, I have. You have to take and spread the wine on there. The guys, make sure you uh, let me know whether or not you ever had the uh, KFC barbecue Chicken. It just really came back and, and was. They yeah, might have had barbecue like, wings. Yeah, wings. Barbecue wings. Did I be saying chicken the whole way? Mm -hmm. Huh? I think so. Yeah, it's I think wings, they see, they see what you're talking about. It's not the barbecue chicken. I'm always messing up. I'm glad you caught me. It's the KFC barbecue wings. Copy that. I have to say, mine are better. <laughs> and they ain't taking nothing away from you. I got my season, seasoning stuff down pat and get this chicken fried up with the season down in the right. Oh, you got it. Like I was trying to say earlier, guys, I don't know what I said or right or not. I've always been good with, uh, once I have something in the restaurant, and I'm asking a lot of you guys are the same way. I can duplicate that real good. That saves you a lot of money. <laughs> Now you use whatever kind of barbecue sauce that you like. Just try to dress it up a little bit. And it has a little, it has that little sweet taste to it. Now this barbecue sauce has a sweet taste to it, but not much. That's the reason I added that little extra honey to it. Get the chicken, get the chicken up. Yeah. Time is going off and get the chicken. For sure, I'm up there that barbecue sauce there. That's what I want to show up. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I would be doing it, uh, guys. I'll be doing that all the chicken the same way. And then, like I said, I got my other set of three seventy-five. And uh, then I'm just going to run it, put it in there for only five minutes. Because I don't want, you know, this... this I, I don't want the sauce to get too dried out of me. I want it to be juicy. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. And when I come back, the chicken will be finished. I'll be right back, guys.
Okay, guys, I got the sauce base on, got the barbecue sauce on it real well, and now I'm getting ready to put it in the oven for the uh, uh, five minutes. I just want you guys to see how I have my sauce put on there, and then I'm going to stick it in this oven for five minutes, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of the uh, KFC bot, uh, copycat barbecue chicken wings. And tuck, they ready, tuck it ready to get into it. Guys, let me know if you already have had them. And if you try them the way that I showed you, the way I, you know, told you I did, I mean, demonstrated to y'all. I can't talk today for nothing, guys. Uh, you will see. <laughs> it's a closed container. I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm not being biased. They better. Mine's is better. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead on and end this video. And I got a special surprise for y'all, for you guys. This Tuck told me he'll test one. Because I was like, how can I show him? I said, I can't show him too much about these chicken wings. And, and uh, I'm not going to try to eat one on camera. He said, I'll do it for you. I'm like, oh, you, you don't care. You want to do that? And he said, yeah, that's okay. So let me go ahead on and, um, how about, you want to end the video, Chuck? Go ahead, end yeah. You, you can end it. Well, I'm, with, I'm with, guys, I'm going to step off and get behind the camera and, 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 and not don't know what I'm doing and, uh, let Tuck come on over and, um, he'll, he'll end the video for me. You got to say thumbs up and all that stuff you be telling me, I forget to say. <laughs> so, okay. So, you're tough, guys. You got this camera position, see this? Okay. Hey, oh, guys. Oh, 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 I'm going to try one of these wings. Just going to grab one. going to dig into it. <laughs> you got to dig it too, huh? <laughs> Dude, you crazy. Mm, my goodness, that is good. Got a star mm. on it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I told you guys, I was glad to share this this yeah. one with you because we love it. No, this and is after, good. And mm -hmm. after I had fixed them and seen what to do, I said, oh, yes, I got to share this with you guys. Oh, yeah. I think this I'm is wonderful, guys. Um, Okay, guys, we're going to end this video. Uh, remember to give Maymay's video a thumb up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do so. Remember to think positive, use your common sense, and Maymay and I both love you guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye, you guys. And mm -hmm. tell me how to tuck do. <laughs> <laughs> right.